Hey, thanks for being here. We are the review guys. guys, and we do a lot of product reviews. We're going to be talking about a guitar cable, which we consider possibly the best guitar cable in the world. So we are going to dive right in and show you what this is. You can see it here. It comes in a pack of two, and this is a great way for you to utilize playing music and using your guitar or ukulele or even bass and have a means of changing the the pitch the key of a song without necessarily having to change the fingering and i'm going to show you and explain exactly how to do that in this video so let's go ahead and take another look at this beautiful guitar cable and this thing is a true beauty we're going to share the screen and actually show you what it's going to look like when you go ahead and try to purchase it on amazon so let's go ahead and do that right now. And this is the screen that you are seeing. We have this in an incognito window and you can see it goes for a really affordable price for under $10. You're going to get two cables and it's also going to come with picks. You can see that there is different angles of it. You can see the size of it. You can see how the black one and the, the, um, I guess it's a rosewood color. To me, it's a little bit more of a brownish color is what I would say. And then the five picks that come with it as well. And I've used these picks and I've used this cable many, many, many times. I've given it to kids. I've given it to people who are a little bit older, um, elderly. I'm talking about 60s, 70s, 80s who have been guitar students and also um, children as young as four years old. So I have a little bit of a history with this cable it feels really good in the hand let's take a look a little bit over at the brand now can't really pronounce the brand tussier but um they have been pretty reliable as i've used this back and forth again we have black and rosewood the material is the aircraft grade zinc alloy if that matters to you we're going to look at the styles as modern and it has a good amount of reviews, about 181. I usually like to see it in the high thousands, but it does also have the Amazon's Choice. Now, when I highlight it, Amazon's Choice highlights highly rated, well-priced products available to ship immediately. So that is something that's really, really nice to know. Let's go ahead and scroll down. No buzz. Now, using this myself, I can confirm it does a great job of not having a bit of a buzz. It does a really... Um, what I would recommend as a capo, it, it pretty much covers everything I would need from it. So it does a good job living up to what I would expect from a capo. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little further. You can see it pairs well with other items. Now I like to have the capo on the top of my guitar and a tuner and the capo actually doesn't get in the way. I can show you a little bit about that once I bring the guitar into place. Now here's a little bit about the brand. Um, this is a professional grade capo maker. Let's scroll down a little bit more. And you will see some of the questions. The pics are nice. You'll see some of the images. Easy to use. Someone didn't get the pics that they um, thought they were going to get with their purchase. That hasn't happened to me. I've purchased this many times. It's been pretty reliable. So unfortunately, they ran into that but you can see through uh, on the reviews again another review and this is not really a complaint about the capo itself they're complaining about the order being some sort of lemon it didn't have to picks um they do exactly as advertised now this is four to five um they clamp the strings down as a capo should which is true one of the strings uh, was too far over so i had to bend it scratching scraping the paint off the capo um put it back in place Shouldn't have to do that, but it's fine. One star for the quality control. Now, I haven't had this issue. Someone said it was hard to open. I didn't believe it was hard to open. It's a good spring, but it's actually um, functional enough for someone who's probably six, seven years old to use. My my um, niece is six years old, and she uses it no problem. Granted, she can use my help at times with it. So this is what you're going to see from that incognito screen on Amazon and we're going to go ahead and dive into what the cable actually looks like in my hand. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to stop the screen share 
And I'm going to jump right back on screen and I'm going to pick up the cable right now and hold it in my hand so you can see it. And this is what it looks like. Let me bring it closer to the camera. And right here, you can see how it looks like with the light. I'm going to turn it to the side and you can see it's got a beautiful sleek design to it. Here's my guitar right in the back behind it. And as I pull it away, you can see the brown just kind of radiate right on the camera. The lighting's really delicate. Now, internally, when you go into these bristles here in, in this wedge, it's really soft. As I look at my fingers here, this is how I hold it. For anyone that needs to know how to use a cable, I rest it against my, my palm right here, my thumbs. I take my two fingers, index middle, and I squeeze and it will open. There's multiple ways to do it. You can see it kind of looks almost like some sort of lever and you squeeze and you can open it that way. I can also open it with my thumb. So you can see kind of, and I, I can use one finger. I would recommend two, but you can see how the strength is gonna play a role. You don't have to be too strong to use this cable. So actually holding it in my hand you can see from the bottom, it's got a, a little bit of a logo on it right down here. But yeah, it is a really smooth cable. It feels good. Now the polish feels nice and smooth. You can see that there's no scratches that come with it. There's no wear or tear. When you look at the cable itself, it, it has a really nice rosewood type of finish now you'll see the metal of the spring right here it's very unnoticeable in fact this is probably the first time i've ever noticed it so it's something that isn't a problem it's unnoticeable unnoticeable excuse me but it, it is there so um you can see how the lever works and again give it a squeeze or open switching hands you can do it like this thumb on the back right on that rubber these two fingers right here and squeeze and if you need if you need to go ahead and put your palm right here and watch on the camera and pull and that's how you're going to be able to open and use the cable so next we are going to show you a few images and then we're going to go ahead and put the cable on the guitar but these are the images that you're going to be able to see. Now, this is exactly what I was doing. I was putting the cable against my palm right under my thumb, taking my index and middle finger and pulling. And that's how I was able to open it. Take a look at this image right here. We have the black and the rosewood. It comes with the Olympic pearl. It looks like ocean blue, forest green, lavender. And then you have cherry red pick designs. Let's take a look at it on the guitar. And here you have two cables on, which is, it would make no sense to ever have two cables on a guitar, let's be honest. But for the sake of the picture, you can see how the cable would sit on a guitar. It goes across all six strings. So it's definitely no problem for a six string guitar. Shouldn't be a problem for a 12 string guitar. If you're playing something similar to a, an eight string or a 10 string guitar, that is a, a bass guitar hybrid. You're going to be a lot wider of a neck in those situations. I would recommend a custom built cable for those type of guitar designs, just because the most standard cable, um, most of the standard cables will simply not work. It's not practical. So you want to be feasible when you're looking into some of these different designs. But um, if you are using a bass guitar hybrid, you're going to probably want to get a custom design when it comes to Something that's going to have the, the whiff to actually cover all eight to 10 strings. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to jump back on screen. And now I'm going to put the capo on the guitar. So this is the guitar we are going to use. This is a beautiful guitar. It's a Jasmine. It's on Amazon. And we can do a review on this guitar a little later if necessary. And I want to show you what it's going to look like to actually have this capo and place it on the guitar. So what I'm going to do is try to back up the mic just a little bit and 
I'm going to back up. I'm going to take my left hand here. And you can already see I have my thumb back here and the capo almost in my palm. I have my index and middle finger ready to go. And I'm going to open, whoop, excuse the mic there, guys. I'm going to open the capo. And I'm going to place it right over this first fret. So watch as I do this. And we're done. Now what I'm going to do is just turn it slightly. So it's lined up. It's covering. It's right over the fret. And first, let's go ahead and take it off and give it a play so you can hear how it sounds without it. And I'm going to play an E guitar chord. So that is an E guitar chord you can hear. Now when I put the capo on, I'm going to play the same E chord. And it's going to be a little bit higher in pitch. All right. Now we're going to do the same chord. You can see the capo on. So it immediately moved the pitch up. So what I'm doing is the finger positions I'm doing with my hand. When I put the capo on, I can change the sound of the guitar, making it higher or lower. Usually if I do that, I have to play a different chord. If I put the capo on, then I don't necessarily have to use a different chord. I just move my hands up and down relative to the capo. So if my hand goes on the first fret, first string here to make this sound and I want to make that sound higher I just move the capo down one and I still consider this now the first string first fret right here and you see how I did that I didn't have to learn a new positioning so why would we use a capo well there's multiple reasons why we should use it and we are going to discuss that before we do I once again I want to show you an image so you can put more of a face to the name when it comes to what you're going to see on a guitar with the capo. So you can see on that screen, it's got a beautiful look on the rosewood and the black. Let's go ahead and jump back on. And I want to talk about why you're going to use a capo in the first place. Well, using a capo is really important for getting a particular sound. Sometimes when you're playing guitar, you might have your fingers down a, a significant amount of strings. Say, I know the mic's in the way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the guitar right here. If I'm playing a sound and I want the strings to be right here, here, and here, I could only stretch and, and then maybe up here or an open sound, up, an open sound here where nothing's pressed and then these three are pressed in. Well, if I don't use a capo, I need to stretch to make my finger a capo. Say I moved everything down to frets. Then I'd have to make my finger be the capo here and still be able to stretch all the way down here. That's, that's not possible. That's too far of a stretch. So what a capo does is it will give you a particular sound. I remember once I was playing guitar at Guitar Center and I had a capo on and there was a gentleman. I said, you're a very good guitar player. Granted, I have taken classical and jazz guitar lessons for a number of years, and I've taught guitar for a number of years. I've also played and taught in jazz at college. But I told the, the guitar, um, the guitar um, gentleman that saw me playing, said, you're a very good player, but you're cheating because you're using the capo. And what I did was I let him know, well, it's not necessarily that I can't make the chords I want to make and play without the capo. I can always substitute and do a different type of chord to get a similar sound. But sometimes you want a very particular type of sound. And sometimes you can't mimic that without the capo. If I need to put my finger way down here, but then the other strings are going to be wide open and played pretty much way up here, I'm not going to be able to make that sound without the capo. There's just no way to do it. It's, there's no way I can stretch my fingers far enough to, to cover eight, nine, ten frets of a guitar. So the capo comes in handy if you're someone that wants a very particular set of sounds to come out of it. And if you're someone that needs a little bit of assistance so you don't have to learn about the new chords. So I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for being here. And we will be back with the next one.